So now really quick, I want to go through the settings to show you how I get that effect. And uh, this is what I started with. Okay, just try to get a really nice clean guitar. By the way, I'm using a Strat in here, American made, so if that helps. Then I added a stereo delay, which sounds like this. Okay, and my settings are here. You can just copy this stuff because it's gonna take a long time to explain. I'm gonna go really quick. On the left side, I selected 75% quarter notes. On the feedback, 71%. And uh, I think this was already on, so I didn't. On the right side, I, I selected 50%, 50,000, whatever this is. Uh, eighth note on the cross feed at 52% and the feedback 50% and the face is already on and the mix 30% on both sides uh, and the on the filters or EQ whatever this is 72% and 17 what the heck yeah almost all the way up <laughs> 17,000 or something uh, this is this doesn't have to be very specific but uh, just use it as, as you like it that's all I, I did to the channel strip where you, I have the audio and then I use a bus and here is where I have everything going really cool stuff going on uh, first I put an EQ I cut all the low ends I cut at 160 Hertz 24 dB per active and then I cut at 315 Hertz I cut it by 14 dBs kind of wide uh, Q so uh, this is how it sounds this is without the EQ. This is with. Sounds cleaner. Sounds cleaner. Because here is where the mod is. So you don't. This one cuts out of the. If I boost this EQ, see what happens. So, no. Did I say minus 14? There you go. So minus 14. I got that. And then I added a pitch shifter. Shift 12 semitones and the mix 50%. Before I move on, let's hear what how it sounds like. Then I put a silver verb, a reverb. If you don't have logic or or, or main stage, just use a reverb on the mix 80% and the mod intensity 0 0.50 100 point 50 hertz and the density all the way up, the room size all the way up, reflectivity at 72%, and pre delay uh, factory settings, uh, low cut at 160. And the high cut, I set it at uh, 5k. This is how it sounds so far. Okay, it's still not there yet. So then I added a compressor. It makes me think it sounds l bigger or louder. I don't know. You don't really have to use a compressor, but you can. Just because you can, so we're gonna do it today. My setting is 41. It's for some reason it's set like that. I usually set it at 41. And then on the threshold, minus 18 dB. 
the attack is set at 10 millisecond the release is set at 48 millisecond and the gain minus wait plus 5 db okay so that's it for that brings the volume a little bit up, louder because with i mean without this is with without with and then I added a second reverb the same reverb silver reverb uh, let's see if there's a difference in here this is the first one this is the second one uh, can't see them both Okay, this is the first one. This is the second one. It looks like um, I have it set at 70% on the mix. Same settings, same, same, pretty much the same. Everything's the same except for this, the mix. So it's set at 70%. That's it. And this is how it sounds. Mm -hmm. See that with the second reverb is where you get a lot of those spacey stuff like never ending feedback and sometimes it's not very good but let's let's hear it one more time. So I added a second EQ just to cut a specific part because there is a frequency that I don't like in there it's, it's, it's bothering my ear so I just put a second EQ after all of these effects and only did one cut two, 205 Hertz I cut, cut by 16 minus 16 dB so that's it. Uh, with this EQ, uh, the the guitar sounds a little cleaner. But uh, uh, one thing I have I have to mention that uh, if you're using these settings for live performance, you're gonna get a lot of latency. I do this for studio, so for, for when I record and stuff, and I don't have that problem. But if I would use it um, in a live situation, uh, I'll probably wouldn't use all of these effects because. Uh, you get a lot of latency and uh, that is a problem if you're playing live so with all this now I'm going to uh, put the fader all the way down and just play the clean guitar and then blend them, the two together so that's how the clean guitar sound So that's it guys, uh, you can blend them to your taste, you don't really have to follow the specific settings that I have here. These are the settings that works for me, it might not work for you, you're welcome to try different things, you might find something really really cool by just uh, experimenting with effects and stuff. Alright, that's all, see you in the next video.